Hi guys, uh, welcome to this new tutorial. In this uh, tutorial I will show you some other rotoscoping technique. I want to thank uh, all the people that watch my uh, preview um, video about rotoscoping techniques. I saw that you guys like it so I decided to do another one. Um, in this video I will show you basically my approach to a rotoscope um, and um, First of all, the first thing that I do is reviewing my shot. Uh, this is a really important step. It can be, you know, where you start to see where the problems are, how can you approach the rotoscope. Uh, uh, in this case, I want to show you how to rotoscope this kid hand. And uh, rotoscopy hand, rotoscopy hands, it's uh, usually it's a thing that you know a lot of people uh, do in this business. So. Um, when you review your shot, it's always good because you can see the problems. And uh, in this case, the movement is pretty smooth, but you know there are some troubles at the beginning. But first things first, uh, I'm showing you right now how to um, grade your roto. Grading your roto is a technique uh, that helps you out a lot because uh, you can actually see the change of color when on your shape, and then helps you out for when you're. Um, trying to animate or when you're trying to design it's a really helpful technique and I saw a lot of people um, using this technique in the um, VFX and post-production work so just choose a color uh, uh, usually a really bright color something that you know uh, cat catches your eyes uh, I choose this red and then I connect uh, uh, the mask of the grade into my roto and uh, as I'm showing you right now, when you roto something, it's gonna be red. So that will help you out a lot. So um, after this, another thing that I highly recommend you to do is to use tracks. Uh, trackers are tracks are um, really helpful things when you're roto rotoing something. Uh, first of all, because they help you out and uh, with the movement uh, and so you don't have to um, create a lot of keyframe and um, the most of the time you will have to uh, track different things so I would recommend you to do to organize everything I usually do a backdrop node and I put all my track over there and you can also label the tracks so if anybody needs to do some uh, correction on your script or on your roto they know exactly where to go so um, in this case, I will show you how to analyze this track. So if you press uh, Command Alt, uh, you can add a track, uh, the point that you're tracking. So we want to track the point, this point here. Okay. So um, and we uh, analyze the track. As you can see, even when you analyze your track, you can see where the problems will be, where you will have to work more um, on your uh, rotor shape. And usually those points are the point where there is more movement or where something is uh, shaking. So in this point, there are so many different ways to approach those points. But in this case, it's just this small, you, as you can see over there, um, just the point where the finger, I will show you here in the viewer of the track, uh, just the point where the finger do that movement here, you see. And um, we can fix that with a couple of more keyframes, so it's not a big deal. Okay, so I think we can use this track, so I will go on the tracker panel and uh, on the bottom there is a uh, transfer match move baked and uh, you click on it and you create your transfer match move so this, this transfer match move uh, will um, trans will uh, uh, give all the information of the tracker to your roto and we need to add this transform match move after your roto shape
and I'm trying to organize a little bit everything and uh, replace the transfer match move here Now we start to uh, design the uh, the shape of the finger, and usually for human hands, you're gonna have to uh, design uh, a shape for each finger, and sometimes multiple shape for each finger. It depends what kind of movement. In this case, we just need to design, I think, three shape for the finger, the first finger, and then we can easily use a one hole shape for the rest of the end so uh, as you can see your grade this is what your grade do is grading what you're doing and this is really helpful so you can it's really helpful and now let's see how the transfer match move work so it's working you know pretty it's working okay uh, it's following the the finger so this is good so now we have to go and fix all the point where um, where the track is not following your um, the finger I mean the shape is not following the finger so this is like in this you need to go over and be really patient analyze the movement see where you want to create a keyframe where it's better um, so this is gonna take a little bit of time but roto shape, rotoscoping it's a lot of you know it's a time spending uh, uh, process so and then once that you learn once you have your method uh, it's pretty much um, it will be pretty easy And uh, yeah, the the real secret of rotoscoping is being constant. If you're constant, it's really the most of the job is done. Then you just need to uh, to be precise. And now, once that I finish to fix all the point, I've done with this shape. So now I start to design the top of the finger and uh, we're basically doing the same process, we're using the same transfer match move uh, we're trying to um, to match uh, the top of the finger with the uh, with our shape so you go over all the points that you need to correct uh, and um, you try to be constant and the grade is gonna help you out a lot this is a really, um, rotoscoping is uh, a skill that I think uh, it's really important. If you are a good roto artist, you can be a good compositor. Even though roto, a roto artist is a career, but um, if you are a good um, roto artist, you are really, you will be really helpful to the compositor that you're working with. And, um, it's probably not the it's not really let's say exciting but at the same time it's uh it's a really useful skill set. I mean I found it really interesting. Um and I saw that you guys are really interested in this uh kind of video. I was checking the analytics and a lot of people are from India, so there's a lot of interested interest over there on rotoscope. Okay, now, okay, guys, uh, this is my final roto shape, uh, and uh, I just added a whole shape for the rest of the hand, and it was working pretty fine. Um, what I will show you now is my setup for the roto. Uh, on the graph, I usually 
uh, set up my rotor shape in this way uh, as you can see I have of course rotor shapes and then I have a transform match move and then I merge all my shapes uh, together with the merge node merge max and uh, this is basically my uh, setup and the roto is working pretty pretty fine pretty good uh, I leave you guys uh, with more time to be more precise and more um, efficient because uh, I didn't have a lot of time to do this I had a couple of technical problems but I think this tutorial is really helpful it gives you tips uh, in this tutorial we uh, I'll show I show you how to uh, approach a rotor shape uh, first of all you look at the footage a couple of time make sure that you got where the problems are how the movement the movement is going and then you start to track the point and you start to do rotor shapes uh, small shapes uh, you know as much as you think you will need uh, and uh, and you use a grade to double check the area that you're sh rotor shaping so as uh, this tutorial is full of uh, really practical tips that you can actually use in uh, in a work reality all my tutorials are really really helpful for people that are working in this business because I am sharing with you guys the technique that I uh, learned from other artists uh, uh, the technique that I like to use better so uh, I think you will find my tutorial really helpful I'm not trying to do like a half an hour tutorial where you get lost my tutorial pretty easy pretty basic but they're really helpful I think um, and um, thank you so much for watching my video and uh, I know it's hard to follow me uh, my English I still have an accent so my English is it is what it is but I hope I hope that you guys uh, understand everything if you have any question leave me a comment and um, Follow me on the social media, on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, and subscribe to the U to this YouTube channel. Uh, please, uh, uh, let's share together our technique uh, and uh, let's make this really uh, helpful for everybody. As a last thing, I will show you uh, this uh, technique that one of my friend, co-worker, shared with me. I can't really share the script with you guys because uh, he actually created this but it's a really helpful technique it's called roto check uh, where you know you can check uh, the footage uh, uh, your grade uh, and what are you extracting so it's a really useful technique uh, maybe if you google it you can find it online I don't think it's a secret so I think you can really find it okay thank you so much for watching and uh, see you next time Bye.